So a couple of days ago we were discussing the uh, question of where this minus sign comes from in this equation. This is the equation to calculate delta H from delta H AC's uh, or from delta HF's values that are tabulated uh, in the back of uh, your course packet or most textbooks. So uh, we take the, according to this equation, we sum, remember this symbol means sum, we add up all the delta H ACs of the products, we subtract all the delta H of the reactants, and that gives us the overall delta H of the reaction. Uh, the question is, where does this minus sign come from? Why is it there? So let's do an example where we're looking at the delta H of this reaction. This is calcium carbonate decomposing. Uh, we've talked about this in lab a couple of times. Um, and I've written out the delta H ACs. Remember, AC stands for atom combination. So we take the elements as atoms in the gas phase and we combine them. Get it? Atom combination. We combine the atoms to get the compounds of interest. So uh, you can look these numbers up and these are the reactions that correspond to them. Now, if we were to do this using Hess's law, we know that we want all the reactants on the reactant side and the products on the product side. CaO is on the product side, that's good. CO2 is on the product side, that's good. Calcium carbonate is on the product side. We want that on the reactant side. So we're going to take this reaction here and we're going to flip it. So now we're going to have calcium carbonate on the reactant side and that's going to form calcium gas, carbon gas, three oxygen gas. And the delta H will now be positive 2849 kilojoules per mole. So then when we add all this up, these three reactions here will now add up to the reaction we want. So uh, you'll notice that calcium gas is a reactant and a product, so that drops out. Carbon gas is a reactant and a product, that drops out. Uh, altogether here we have three oxygen gases, and we have three oxygen gas down here, so that drops out. The only thing that's left is the calcium carbonate, the calcium oxide, and the carbon dioxide gas. When we add these three delta H's together, we get positive 177 kilojoules per mole. <clears throat> now, why is, this, why is this important? Hess's law told us that we had to flip the delta H of the one that was the reactant, only the one that was the reactant. So what this minus sign does here is it flips that sign of the delta HAC for the reactant. In other words, when you just plug this into the equation, the equation does it for you. So you take your delta HAC of your products, which is calcium oxide, that's minus 1063, um, and the delta HAC of the other product, which is CO2, that's minus 1609. And then the minus sign in the equation is now going to flip the minus sign of the delta HAC for the one and only reactant. So now this becomes negative 1063. And then negative times negative is positive 2849. Those add up to 177 kilojoules per mole. So the, the minus sign is only here to switch the sign of the reactant. It's the same thing that would happen if you did this with Hess's law because it flips the sign of the reactant and only the reactant. And so uh, one of the hang-ups I think is that, that um, when you guys see a negative sign out here you think that this quantity is negative but if the delta HAC is negative putting the negative sign in there just flips the sign. So the equation does the sign flipping for you and that is the reason that that minus sign has to be there. It's in front of the reactants because it's the reactants delta HAC that has to be flipped.